as an overdress because she'll be super <laughs> hot right now. It's possible. We have several homecomings tonight, uh, several homecoming games in the mid state. Temperatures well into the 80s, so it could be hot standing in the sunshine. Thankfully, the sun does set here shortly, and temperatures will fall into the 70s in not too much time. So here we go with the headlines tonight, and we've got rain expected for part of the weekend. The focus of it looks to happen on Sunday. We'll have a very warm start to the weekend, so it's warm now. It's going to be warm tomorrow. 88 for the forecast high tomorrow in Nashville, and then we'll have a cooler finish by sundown Sunday night. You should feel some of that change starting to move in. Here's the latest with full worn live dot. The radar still no new development, and so we're focused in on out toward the Tennessee River, not far from Waynesboro near Parsons and Decaturville, and we show the movement of these small showers, and they're just struggling to hold on there, moving slowly to the north northeast. And that's it. So you look pretty good for tonight. And the clouds will start to collapse once the sun goes down. And most of those have fizzled already in Macon County. This is live from Westside Elementary School. Down at Camp Marymount in Fairview. There's the sun getting lower in the sky. It goes down tonight at 626. Live from TSU in Nashville, it's clearly mostly sunny. And notice we've gotten to 89 at the Adventure Science Center today. So a very unusual day, very hot. 82 is the current temperature at the Clinton County High School in Albany, Kentucky. We've got 84 at Creve Hall Elementary School, the high there today, 86 and 83 over in Fairview at Camp Marymount. And this is the situation at the Nashville Airport. We've got middle 80s still, dew point 65, so it's still plenty stuffy out there. We'll keep the stuffiness, the humidity in the air for tomorrow, and then that will start to drop on Sunday, but really fall back on Monday. It's 80 in Pegram. We've got 80 right now in northern Cheatham County. If you're watching from Lewis County, it's 82, 82 right now in Lewisburg, and 81 for the airport temperature in Paris, Tennessee. So full worn live dot the radar, the full worn advantage across the mid south does show more rain back toward Paducah. That will lift farther into Illinois and Indiana, so that's not going to bother us at all. This is the system we're watching, though. A lot of snow back into the Dakotas tonight. It's starting to move out of Wyoming. They got really hammered with snow earlier today, last night as well. Notice the band of storms developing in Kansas and Oklahoma. We're really not expecting severe weather here in Middle Tennessee. There could be some thunderstorms late tomorrow and tomorrow evening, or I should say late Sunday and Sunday evening as the system moves through. It's still hundreds of miles away, so it's going to take some time to move into the mid states. So just isolated storm coverage tomorrow and then a better rain chance as we transition into the day on Sunday. A quick check on Karen tonight, looking very weak, much more weak than yesterday. In the Gulf of Mexico, a very lopsided storm. Max winds right now at 50. It's moving to the north. It will recurve toward the northeast, toward Florida, but max winds as it makes landfall sometime late Sunday, looking to be about 60 miles an hour, and it's not going to have a problem in our forecast at all. So 79 degrees at 7 o'clock tonight, falling back into the 70s, into the mid-60s by first thing tomorrow morning. 88 for the high, just isolated to widely scattered daytime heating showers and storms tomorrow. It's after midnight tomorrow night, early Sunday morning, where the significant rain moves into the mid-state. Count on some downpours on Sunday, rain reaching Nashville around midday Sunday as the Titans game begins. I think it's going to continue to rain into Sunday evening, maybe even Monday morning, and then it tapers off. 76 for the high on Sunday, 72, and much less humid on Monday. So feeling like fall for Monday of next week and feeling like fall for a couple more days and then back to 84 weeks end once again. So we're not done with the warmth, 80 degrees by Thursday and Friday of next week.